Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss and show you how we use the third party JavaScript based library in the Postman. Okay, so here you can see I have one uh, API request. When I submit this, I will get the information right like this in the JSON data where we have name job id and created id okay now suppose that here we need to verify the created date okay which we are getting here the current date right so in that case if we verify the expected date so we know this will always a current date so okay. in that case what we need to do we need to get the current date at runtime then compare with the response data what we are getting Okay, so let's see how we verify this, how we verify the date format here. Now, as we know, if we want to verify the data, we need to write the test under the test section by using JavaScript code. We have already some snippet code which are available here. We can use the snippet code. So as you can see here, this is the JSON data. Right. If we want to verify the JSON data, then we have snippet code, response body, JSON value check. Click on this, you will get the code. Right. So let's rename this. Validate response data. Okay. Now, if we want to verify the names, job, and created right right so name and job you can easily verify so in that case here you can see this snippet of code give you the json data this complete json data now if i want to get this name so cm.expect this method we, uh, we are using to ver verify the values then json dot name i can use here json dot name which will give us the name value then we can provide here the what is our expected value. Expected value, suppose that Mercuse. Similar type, if we want to verify that a job, so we can get the value of job node and then pass here the leader. Leader is my expected value and actual value we will get here. Now, if we want to verify this created, so our expected value is a current date which we cannot hard code like we are putting these values so in that case we need to use some library some code which will generate and give the latest which will give us the current date so java java script has one library which we can use and in the postman uh, it is also inbuilt right this is available you don't need to install separately so now let's see how we use the moment library to get the current date so first of all we need to use the uh, import so and variable i created equal to require and then here pass moment okay let's see how we get the current date I'm using console.log passing this moment okay and let's run this on the console you can see I'm getting this date with the minute with the hours minute second and millisecond now if we go and verify the millisecond and second value so might be this is not fruitful because when we send the request it will create use data and when we get response there that date time uh, millisecond is also mentioned when we get the current time after receiving the response so might be there are some difference during the process to send the request process the data get the data right maybe some millis some seconds and milliseconds it will take right some time so that's why we can verify the date as well as the hours like and minute 
So now we need to convert and get the data till the minutes. For that we can use the format. So how we use the format? Here we can moment dot format and pass the format in which format we need the data. Like here I need a white year. So four month date right space ehh cml hours and minutes that's right colon so this is the one format which we are passing let's send the request output we can see in this format so let's convert the data which we are getting the response here in same format so date equal to we can get json data dot created at right then we need to convert this also in the same format in which format we are getting the date current okay so let's do that how we do that just use the moment pass this date value here and then use the same format Let's copy this and pass. And then this is my actual date. Let me print this and you will see the date what we are getting from the JSON response in the given format. Log this. Send request. Go to the console. Here you can see getting both dates in the same format now if we are getting the date in the same format we can compare these two dates so for compare we need to call the pm.expect pass here first value actual date then dot two dot b dot two dot equal And then pass the actual expected date right expected date this is the date so let's store in a variable okay and pass this variable here and run the code you can see it verified and we are getting validated response successfully Okay, so in this way we can use the third party any uh, Java script library in the postman like example I given here to validate the response so date format Okay, hope this will be helpful and you can use the existing library while validating the API request with the postman and If you like the tutorial click on the like button subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get latest videos notification if you have any query leave a comment and share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues thanks for watching the video